Hello and welcome to TPM's 3 Minute Thursday. Today we want to take a look at how to create and manage custom material databases. Now the first thing you want to do is take a look at where you're going to store your material databases. So go into your options and your file locations and set it to material databases. You'll notice that you've already got a few items uh, up here, uh, program files and program data. A lot of these are default databases uh, that come with SOLIDWORKS and you can't delete them, so you may have some duplicates in there. But the one I want to look at is uh, this one where I have out on my desktop. Typically you want to put this out on a network location or in your PDM vault, somewhere where everybody can have access to one material database. So once you've got that set, then you can come over to uh, edit your materials. So come out into the dead space here and right click and go to new library. And the first thing you want to pay attention to is where are you storing this? And you can see it defaulted to my program files and that's not where I want to put this. So I'm going to come down to my support files and I've got a uh, material database location for this. And we'll just give it a name and save that material database. So now we've got our custom uh, database created. Then we just need to add new categories. And once you have your categories created, then you can begin creating new material. Once you have materials created, then it's just a matter of defining all of the uh, material properties. Um, and appearances, crosshatch, uh, defining if you want them favorites, and everything else that goes here. Uh, Robbie Hoyler, uh, one of our AEs, put together a great three minute Thursday on managing material uh, databases for simulation needs. So please go check out that three minute Thursday video. Now, um, you may end up getting uh, multiple uh, databases here, especially if you downloaded one from mattweb.com, another great place to start uh, to get material database information. So how do we combine multiple uh, material databases into one? Well, go to where you store your material databases, and they're in a SLD MAT format, and these are easily edited in Notepad. And uh, what I want to do is take what I have in my plastics, and you're going to look for this classification tag. And we want to copy everything inside of these classification tags here. So we're going to copy that, and then paste it into your uh, main material database. Save all that and close it. And then when we come back to our material database, then we'll see that we now have those plastics in our main material database and then we can just delete the extraneous database. One other thing that you can do in here is you can move materials up and down so that you can uh, more easily sort them and you can also copy and paste them into other categories if you need to reorganize anything. So that's been TPM's 3 Minute Thursday. We hope to see you next time.